Yeah, we're excited to be here tonight um, sharing some draft plans for the Winooski Memorial Library renovation project. Um, we've been working about two years on this with Champlain Housing Trust as our, our main partner. Um, we are looking at a pretty significant renovation of the O'Brien Community Center overall. But what we're focused on tonight, uh, the portion of the project that we're focused on tonight is the addition of um, a significant amount of space to our public library. So the uh, proposal right now would include about tripling the size of the current library and really improving the facility to best serve our community. Um, our librarians have done a great job kind of squeezing every ounce of life out of the 1,800 square feet we're in now, but um, I think we've seen a high demand. Um, I think we're seeing increased demand both locally and nationally in libraries, and it's. I think it's time. It's time for us to make this investment and really make this uh, improvement for our community. So. Uh, as I mentioned, Champlain Housing Trust has been a huge partner for us in this project. Um, we are aiming to do this at a neutral tax impact, um, which is pretty incredible for the community. And again, looking at working with Champlain Housing Trust, bringing in partners, bringing in grant funding, donation funding to make this happen. So uh, really hope folks will chime in, look at uh, designs online, give us feedback. Uh, we want to make this a library that the community wants and I think are really excited about this first step. So is there like a library commission that initiated this because they heard there was greater demand? So we, we have a library committee who has definitely been involved in kind of vetting some of the design work and, and giving feedback to us as, as city staff. Um, the bulk of this kind of came from Champlain Housing Trust and the city getting together um, more globally on the O'Brien Center project or uh, parcel overall. Uh, we worked with them a few years ago to develop the condos out front, um, affordable housing for the community. And I think in the midst of that project, they got some exposure to the, the O'Brien Center building, what we do here, and not unlike the old North End Community Center in Burlington, I think got excited about uh, making this investment in a community facility. So they, they've really been a driving partner in this and, again, really psyched to be working with them on it. So who, who are the people that... What are, who are the groups that were using the old library? Yeah, it's, I, I will say the library really is a broad slice of our community. I think we see all sectors, all varieties, all ages um, in, our, in our space, and I think that's a great sign. Again, even in our tiny little space that we have now, um, we have patrons from newborns all the way up through senior citizens. We have folks coming in to enjoy a play group. We have people coming in regularly to check out books uh, or audio books. Um, we're seeing a huge increase in our digital circulation. So we have a lot of community members engaging with us um, online, which is exciting. I think a trend we're seeing again, both locally and nationally. Um, yeah, so I, it's really, it's everybody. Um, multilingual users, we're certainly seeing a lot more of uh, as, as we've been in this facility uh, since our move from the Champlain Mill a few years back. So. It's, I think, a really important melting pot and space for our whole community to come together. And again, we think this new facility will just only make us better at, at providing space for that. Okay, so now you have your new center. What are your future goals and your future plans? What's, what's 10 years down the line? Oh, man. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. Okay. Um, no, I mean, I think seeing this facility really realizing its vision of being a true community center, providing services across the board for residents, I think, you know, to see somebody come in for their doctor's appointment, get some counseling services at Vermont Works for Women to help find a job, and then come check out a book to read over the weekend. You know, it's like to be able to have all those things happening in one space for the community that's convenient, that's accessible, um, that's welcoming would be huge. And I think continuing to look at how we leverage that new space for programming, really figure out how we can be responsive to what the community is looking for, for um, circulation materials, again, programming ideas, uh, informal opportunities to gather. Um, I think those are all things we are going to be looking to develop as we get into the new space. Do you have any relationship with the school? So we work very closely with the school uh, through our department, which is the community services department, um, and definitely do a lot of work with the, the library there. Um, we have really, I think, tried to be mindful of when we're doing circulation or uh, collection development, 
being engaged with them and making sure it's not all the same books that are there that are here. Um, we tend to serve more of the after school crowd um, while their services are largely during the school day. So I think that's a nice dovetail as well. But I know our librarian, Nate Eddy, and, and Matt Guile, who's the library director there, are, are very much in touch and working together. So are you going to have like a, a celebration for a grand opening at some point? Or something? At some point, yeah. We, uh, at this juncture, the tentative plan is for construction to begin in June of 2025. Um, we're expecting somewhere between an uh, 8 to 12 month construction period for the library portion of the building. And at that point, you know, once those doors open, we will certainly be throwing a big party. Okay, so is the, until June of 25, is this building the location of the library or is it the so the so we're as you can see in the background here we're temporarily in uh, the community room next door. Um, we are working on dealing with some indoor air quality issues in the uh, the current library space. We expect those will be resolved in about a month. Um, we're installing some equipment to help do some air filtration, and so in the interim we'll be back in our current space until construction begins. Um, you know again June 2025. My name is Taryn Barrett, and I'm with Duncan Vishnevsky Architecture. I was brought on to this project by the Champlain Housing Trust a couple years ago to examine the opportunity of the O'Brien Center to better serve its community. So we've been working over the last couple years with many partners on conceptualizing what a new library, health center, dental center, um, and community space could be and how it would best serve the people that live in Winooski. Over the summer, our librarian has shared several design ideas and concepts at the farmer's market, which we've taken into consideration from the community's feedback into the initial design for the interior and exterior space of the library. Um, some of the feedback included more organic elements, playful colors, open spaces, more access to books, more access to computers. And so these are the things that we've begun to prioritize in our design and that we hope to share tonight at this community meeting. So we're still seeking feedback. Um, we're open to ideas, and we're hoping to make this become a reality over the next four to five months before we really enter into our construction phase of the project next year. So do you have all your permits for the city of Winooski? We do, we do, we have not gone for permits. Um, we've moved past our schematic design phase where we've identified who's going to go where in the building and how big we want to make it into design development. And so we are on the cusp of getting more community feedback, going in for zoning permits, and then we'll eventually be making our building permit application right before construction. Uh, well, my name is Mary Hussman and I am a library clerk here. Uh, this is obviously our temporary setup because we've had some issues, environmental issues, in our next door space. So we're over here for a, a bit until those can be resolved. What we're doing here today is a listening session for the public here in Winooski um, with the architects available to show the drawings they have for our new building and um, Champlain Housing Trust now owns the building and so in conjunction with them uh, we're getting a larger space uh, three times larger so it's going to be really helpful. We've been crammed into a very small shoebox for a long time um, so we can have a bigger children's section, we can have more books to circulate, we can have private meeting rooms, more computers. We serve, you know, Winooski is the most diverse uh, community in the state of Vermont, so we see a lot of new Americans who really use the services, especially the computer services, um, to fill out job applications, um, citizenship forms. So to have this new space, we're just delighted about, and um, and that's what we're doing here tonight. Yes, the space you saw closed next door is our old space, which was very small. Um, if you look at those drawings over there, you can see what our new space is going to look like. 
Hi, I'm uh, Ben Boglovsky. I'm a pre-construction manager with Reark Company. We're a construction management company based in South Burlington. Uh, we were selected as the uh, construction manager for this project, working with uh, Duncan Dishneski and uh, Champlain Housing Trust. Uh, we're excited to be part of the team. Um, we're excited to be brought in at this early stage where we can um, weigh in on the decisions and help plan the project uh, for the community so that the construction can go as smoothly as possible. Um, being that it is an occupied building and will be continuously occupied during construction, that will definitely be uh, a challenge, but a challenge that we're uh, up for and excited to uh, address. Okay, so you addressed all issues with the, with the city of Winooski and with the uh, Champlain Valley housing. And so you're all set to go as soon as they give you the go-ahead. <laughs> We're still working through the design with Duncan Vishneski, so there's there's definitely a couple months of planning. We're hoping that construction will start uh, next summer, uh, and there will be a phased approach since it is an occupied building. Uh, so uh, certain tenants will move out. We'll be able to um, renovate the spaces and then have them move back in. Like the library, they're in a small space now. The new library is actually in addition to the building. So they'll move out to a temporary space and we'll be able to construct them a, uh, a new space adding on to the existing building. And then once that's complete, they'll be able to move back into the new space. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.